care. Um, okay, so this was brought up as a, a, a future agenda item to discuss. I just decided, uh, took it upon myself to create it and insert it into the board packet. Uh, again, you know, I'm going to have my own disclaimer. This is certainly far and away not a uh, clear representation of every single thing that either I or other members of this district are working on for each of some of the larger tasks. I don't want to read it hand for hand, but I will say, you know, the accounting system remains a large project that we are working on. Uh, unfortunately, information is still kind of slowly trickling in from the county level. Uh, Director Naylor and Carolyn and myself actually attended uh, a county level meeting uh, intended strictly for special districts who utilize the county as a county. Uh, following the meeting, by my request, the Director of Finance, Roy Given, sat and met with us, as well as some of the key people in the Finance uh, Department, kind of explaining where we were at. I laid out what those options are down below. Uh, we have purchased, we have installed, we have networked QuickBooks. Uh, there's still some learning curves to come in there. Uh, Dan Hom from the Bob Fire Protection District has been incredible. He's their CFO and a CPA who has been incredibly helpful. It's actually downloaded our current chart of accounts for us out of SAP and put it into a QuickBooks file, which we've already uploaded into QuickBooks, so at least we have something in there that we can start looking at. Um, I don't know that I have a formal recommendation tonight, but I'm certainly very strongly leaning in the direction that we're going to utilize QuickBooks as our accounting system of record. Those small things I have seen trickle in past that meeting tell me that uh, I am not even 100% confident that the new county system uh, and their chart of accounts that they have designed will meet our needs compared to show in how we have our current accounting system broken down through various functional areas. Uh, uh, we have more than 10 and I think with them we would only be able to have about 9. Um, I don't know if you would concur with that or not. Yeah. Um, right after the meeting we did receive um, chart of accounts information with regard to the fields that are going to be uh, part of every one of the uh, accounts. It just seemed that there was a tremendous amount of redundancy in those that could have been used to differentiate things um, that I was a little disappointed in. Um, unless I'm mistaken, um, probably would not get us to um, if we wish to um, get to the fine level of detail of sub-programs within a program, i.e. different summer camps, you know, having a P&L with different summer camps, unless there's some flexibility in extending the number of digits in the field, which was not apparent to me. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I did not get that at all. Um, separate and distinct from that, um, they did announce at this meeting that there's going to be training, I believe, at the end of this month. And they suggested that we get heavily involved in that training that would clarify quite a bit of, um, you know, what the gray areas are for us. I think that would be useful irrespective of the direction that we go in, particularly because time is of, is of the essence and we may be doing a two-step to migrate as opposed to a single one. Right. right. Well, and as I kind of laid out, I believe here in uh, uh, option one, I mean, we're always going to be married to the Tyler system, the MENA system to some level. Uh, right now, we would certainly have to continue using it. Uh, one of the big things here is they have to design a custom interface for our agency that will allow our accounting system to upload uh, data into their accounting system, and they are all hands on deck, chin deep, and trying to hit their own July 1 launch date problems right now with implementing a very large system to a very uh, large uh, agency. So it's, they're not going to have that done by July 1st. It's just not going to happen. And to some degrees, it was just matters of not the right people knowing, even though I've, you know, informed the director of finance uh, at one point well over six months ago. So it is, uh, uh, it's, it's just, it is what it is. You know, it's a challenging transition. It is a challenging uh, situation for the county and for us. Timing is not ideal. They said, you know, training towards the end of April, beginning of May. 
uh, absolutely nothing has come since that meeting. I have no idea what dates they're looking at, uh, what our availability would be on those dates, how much time these trainings are going to entail, what they all are. I mean, they laid out a pretty intensive training plan. I just don't uh, know what exactly it is yet. Uh, as far as the details, other than the broad strokes, I would certainly encourage Carolyn if she has anything uh, that she took out of there that maybe I haven't covered yet. Uh, uh, in the meantime, we did find a local resource who is very good at QuickBooks and networking and got it set up and actually lives in the Berries. Yeah, it was a great resource to have. Uh, and it, we were, you know, a lot of time trying to get to this point. Last week was a busy week, but I certainly plan to re-establish uh, connection with Dan, who was also at that meeting, um, probably tomorrow, and see when I might be able to get on his schedule. He can come down and start Carol and I in the QuickBooks world. Great. Do you have anything? Um, other than that, on the report, uh, the district newsletter, I know something that's been talked about a lot. Shane uh, and myself and Paula have been working on that. The chief gave us some info. We certainly have uh, plenty of kind of topics. We've been looking at uh, various means by which to get out, uh, whether it be email, what the cost of that would be, so on and so forth, whether it's just a web-based link. Um, what I do not want it to be uh, is a static piece of paper that is handed out or put in stacks, I think, you know. Nowadays, that's not how those are delivered, and it'll either be a web-based or email-based or both, um, and it'll ideally cover things across the district, you know, kind of news of interest for members of the public uh, from every department. Uh, and then finally, I touch in much greater on the board training opportunities that are in here, actually give you some dollar amounts for this particular training that's coming up. I hope I'm not... Uh, uh, taking anything away from anybody else here, but I know Director Naylor had approached me in interest about the scholarship opportunity, and we have uh, certainly looked into that, and uh, I don't want to speak for him, but I think he would probably be interested in applying for the scholarship, uh, at which point it wouldn't cost us anything because it would cover registration. Uh, my personal recommendation on something like this would be the district, uh, we'd be identifying trainings that are close enough to drive to for the day, wouldn't require overnight lodging. Uh, there's often a lot of these. I attended this very Napa training. I commuted from this neighborhood to Napa for several years. It's plenty close enough to go in the morning and go back. Uh, and this was a great particular training, the one that I have in here, and it really is geared for board. I mean, when I attended, it was easily probably an 80-20, if not an 80-15 split between board members and uh, general managers that were in the room. Questions? And any questions from the board? <clears throat> um, are you looking for a tool for the district newsletter? Or, I mean, would putting it, putting, if you have something to announce right now, would it be as simple as putting it in a PDF file and putting a link on the website? Uh, well, not quite. Okay. Uh, I mean, could we do that? Sure. Yeah. But that is not, I mean, that again, you're really just kind of getting back to creating something, say, in a Word or an Adobe standpoint. Mm -hmm. We were looking at Adobe Slate, um, actually by Shane's suggestion, which really kind of creates it more as a web page, you know, I mean, just much more scrollable, interactive, embedded links. Or, you know, it's not, you're not just limited to kind of your standard sizings. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously there's several uh, email templates out there. Constant Contact was one of the ones we were looking at that I have experience with. There's another one called GovDirect. Uh, I, I want to say probably in our rough guess, and don't quote me on these numbers, but say if we sent it out to our current mailing list, on an email basis, it probably costs about 50 bucks a shot. If you do this quarterly, you're looking at about a $200 district expense. To Plus do it you to send emails? Yeah. Well, you're utilizing their templates. It kind of goes through them. You upload. Oh. We do not have the capacity to send out 1,500 emails at once. Mm -hmm. Okay. More active than passive, I guess, is what you're Correct. saying. I see. Yeah, a lot of nonprofits use it. A lot of government agencies use it. I think I forwarded you one of the things that came from uh, Santa Fe. That was their Hot Shots um, mm. email that went out. Uh, that's through GovDirect, and us looking at that was even more expensive than utilizing constant uh, contact. I, I see. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't be a free thing. And again, uh, we just we don't we don't have the internal uh, capacity to drop something out like yeah. that and push it. I just like to suggest again. That, I mean, there are some things that have either have happened or are about to happen um, that I think it would be worth either celebrating or acknowledging. Um, and if waiting for a tool will prevent us from doing that on a timely basis. Um, yeah, well, I think we have we have it set as it stands right now that we could drop this on the website by the end of the week. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more uh, clean up a couple of pictures, uh, you know, going through it. I've kind of proofread through some things, gave it the polish. He kind of built it with some of Shane's assistance too. Mm -hmm. It would be, you know, basically another link on our website that uh, 